morning, Belen. I'm Marcelo Hernandez. And I'm Alex Suarez. And welcome to this edition of WBLN for today, November 20th, 2017. Early this morning, issues with the water system arose when one of the urinals wouldn't stop flushing. Videos show one of the upstairs urinals spilling water out all over the floor, nearly flooding the bathroom. Also adding to the confusion was the water fountain directly outside of the bathroom started shooting up straight into the air. What caused these problems is still unknown, but luckily our custodians were quick on the scene and managed to fix the issue and clean up the floor just in time before classes started. In other news, thanks to the efforts of Belen our Belen community as well as some others, this Saturday around 70 young men and women gathered to help serve what we collected over at Jesu Church. They handed out around 167 $25 gift cards for seniors and 125 turkeys along with $15 gift cards for families. Also, a special thanks to Waldo Toyos and the Knights of Columbus Coral Gables chapter for the turkeys. It was a wonderful event with Oscar Bustillo, class of 86, providing musical entertainment while 322 people were fed. What a great way to start the holiday season. This past weekend, the Belen Jesuit Annual Gala took place at the University of Miami. The gala is a great event to socialize with the Belen community and help raise funds for the scholarship fund, which benefits 25% of the student body. Notorious cult leader Charles Manson has died. The California Department of Corrections say he passed away of natural causes on Sunday. Manson and his followers, a cult known as The Family, were behind a string of gruesome murders in California in 1969. The attack left seven people dead, including pregnant actress Sharon Tate. Manson was also convicted in connection with the killings of two others. He was serving a total of nine consecutive life sentences and was denied parole of 12 times. Manson suffered health problems in recent years. His next parole hearing had been scheduled for 2027. Charles Manson was 83 years old. Also, President Trump said a decision on importing elephant trophies in the upcoming weeks said next week, he tweeted, Sunday, big game trophy decision will be announced next week, but will be very hard pressed to change my mind that this horror shows in any way help conservation of elephants or any other animal, end quote. Trump announced that he would postpone the decision in a tweet Friday at the surprise of administration employees and interest groups. Research published Friday by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said that killing African elephant trophy animals in Zimbabwe between a certain time period will enhance the animal's survival. A source with knowledge of the agency's process called Trump interviewing an uncharted situation for a president. Some pro-hunting groups are still confident the proposed policy will change go forward. The crew of a missing Argentine Navy submarine may have recently tried to reach out. The submarine has been missing since Wednesday, 44 crew members It disappeared off Argentina's southern Atlantic coast midway to its destination. Officials are now trying to locate the seven satellites and they detected satellites. Various countries are helping in the search. The U.S. is sending a rescue mission capable of searching for water. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, are celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary tomorrow at Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace has released new pictures of them to mark the occasion. The portraits were taken at Windor Castle in early November. British photographer Matt Holyoke of the photo agency Camera Press took the photos, took the photos, a nod to the couple's personal history. The very first assignment ever for the Camera Press was taking pictures of their wedding back in 1947. The event attracted worldwide attention and was broadcasted on radio to 200 million people around the world. Good morning, Belen. It's looking like a pretty nice day outside with some afternoon showers coming in from the north. Let's take a look at your weather for today. Today we're looking at some highs in the high 70s and the lows in the low 70s with relative humidity approaching 55%. Winds moving west at 5 miles an hour and precipitation at 40%.
For the next three days, we're looking at uh, some pretty rainy days with highs across the board of, 80s, of low 80s and lows of high 60s. Let's pass it on to Mackie for sports. What's up, guys? The Belen Jesuit Middle School goal team defeated St. Brendan by a score of 50 to 12 on Monday. Leading scorers for the Wolverines were Gabriel Marrero with 11 points and Brian Jorkman with 8 points. The Belen Blue team lost to Epiphany with a score of Belen 26 to Epiphany 38. Belen defeated Epiphany 7-0 on November 15th. The sixth grade gold soccer team plays at St. Kevin. The sixth grade blue team will host St. Kevin and the varsity basketball team will play in the Palmetto Preseason Classic. The Gold Middle School basketball team plays at Our Lady of Lords Academy. The Blue Middle School basketball team will host St. Teresa. The JV soccer team is scheduled to host Archbishop McCarthy. In college, the Canes took on Virginia Saturday afternoon at The Rock. Virginia, who entered the game allowing opponents at an average of four and a half yards per carry, held Miami and running back Travis Homer in check for the better part of the three quarters, before UM started finding some success on the ground. With Virginia on top at the half, 21-14, the Canes had to find answers. Miami dominated the second half and scored 30 points to win the game by a score of 44-28. to Sitting at 4-5, and five, the Dolphins had the opportunity to get back to 500 and keep their playoff chances alive. But that wasn't the case after, on, Saturday, on Sunday afternoon at the Rock. After a promising first quarter, the Dolphins found a way again to disappoint us. At the half, Tampa Bay was on top 27. Culler, who threw three interceptions, suffered a concussion, which opened the door again for Matt Moore completed 17 of 28 passes for 282 yards, a touchdown and no interceptions. The Dolphins ended up losing the game by a score of 30 to 20 and now sit at a whopping 4 and 6 record. Now, that's all for sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Mackie. That's all your news for today. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Marcel Hernandez. And I'm Alex Suarez. And from everyone here, have a wonderful day and stay golden, Wolverines.